darkness. And when we gaze at the sky on a starry night, we focus on the beautiful glimmer of the trillions of stars rather than the darkness that surrounds them. This shows that it is not our environment that makes us who we are, but how we react to it and how we shine through that darkness. What defined us as students wasn't the structure of the buildings, rather the structure of our minds and how we conducted ourselves despite our circumstances. We see the same stars that guided Harriet Tubman to freedom, and we stand on the same soil we once tended to. These constants aren't here to solely remind us of how we attained freedom. They serve as a baton handed to us for us to further our place in this relay of life. We have to use the rights and freedoms we fought for. We have to use the brain and heart we were given. Stars create light and we are creators. But now it's time for us to illuminate the world. You have a responsibility to leave your mark and show the next generation that it is our idiosyncrasies, our differences, our quirks that are supposed to shine. We are born to be bold. We aren't born to be common. And if you find yourself struggling to fit in the environment behind you, remember that if you blend in too well, you risk becoming invisible. You risk blending in with the darkness. And no one really knows all they're capable of. The only way to see the edge of your abilities is to push yourself to it. Just make sure that when you leave, you leave your marks, your impact, you leave a place better than how you found it, and you leave the next generation with more opportunities than you had. Our limits are beyond the sky. We are transitioning into adults now. It's time to stop pretending to be black holes. It's time to be the stars that brighten this community. It's time to facilitate the change we want to see. And we can do it because greatness is our portion.